Um, I would just say it's just it's different. Um, you know, when we get here and we put that Titan uniform on, it's just a different vibe. And just to get the first one, it just, I mean, words can't explain it. And just um, come back Monday and just build on it. Did you feel a sense of relief when you got that first touchdown? Um, I was, honestly, no, not really. I mean, you know, like Coach Raver always says, you know, when your opportunity comes, just take advantage of it. And, you know, that's just what I did. My opportunity came and, and just went and go made a play. How much more confident are you feeling going into the regular season, especially after these three games? Um, I would just say it just, you know, uh, the preseason is real valuable for rookies um, just to get a taste of it and then to actually just to go out there, come um, real season, and uh, just go play ball. Uh, I would just say, uh, I mean, it's more, I would say it's more fast paced, just as for my perspective, um, you know, um, but I'll, honestly, just to keep doing what I'm doing and just keep getting better and better. Um, honestly, like I said, um, I'm just ready for, I'm always ready for my opportunities. And um, when my opportunity comes, you know, I just take advantage of it. Yeah, um, I mean, I just ran my my route to win, um, and you know he made an incredible throw, and um, just went and made a play afterwards. I don't like to get too far ahead, but yeah, you know, <laughs> it's doing good. Um, I mean, I honestly, I don't remember exactly what I did, um, but just gonna come in Monday. Uh, well, actually tomorrow, and um, just build on it and get better. Right. Do you feel like you've got a lot to do in the next couple weeks? Um, I would say everybody has a lot to do. Um, you're never like in perfect. You never. No one's perfect. Um, it's always um, room to improve, um, and just keep improving. I'm just glad that uh, you know I really want to go in there tonight and get opportunity to go in there and try to win the game. And fortunate enough, we were able to do that. And uh, I'm just grateful for you know J. Rob and, and Coach Vrabel for giving me this opportunity. I wanted to prove them right tonight when I got in there. You didn't get a ton of chances tonight, but to go out there 75 yards away, go down the field in 12 plays and score, that's got to mean something pretty special. Yeah, it means something for sure to me. Um, and I think everybody that was in that huddle, you know, I think that was, you know, I kind of, before the drive started, I was just like, you know, whatever happens, guys, you know, let's just go out and have fun and try to go get a touchdown. That's what we did. It was unbelievable. The fourth down play, you had a chance on second down, mm -hmm. really had a chance on third down. Fourth down, it was just like, I'm getting it in one way yeah, or another, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> after those, la the previous plays, I was, I was like, yeah, we have to do something here. And, um, you know, luckily they played like a soft zone and kind of bought a little bit of time and saw it open and took off. That was it. You mentioned kind of how you told the players, hey, let's have some fun on this last mm -hmm. drive. But looking at these three games, have you felt any sort of amount of more pressure going when you did come in third quarter and tonight the fourth quarter? Uh, I wouldn't say pressure, really. I mean, I just wanted to take advantage of the opportunities I had. Um, you know, obviously, turn the ball over a couple of the first two games, obviously something that, you know, I didn't want to do. Um, but I do feel like that I have continued to try to get better and, and try to, you know, find a role in this football team where, wherever it is. Yeah, you know, just, uh, just let, let, letting them know, like, you know, our, our team keys and all that, here, and, you know. And then Vrabel let, let them know, too. So, you know, it's really just like we're going to play our, our style of football here. Who ended up uh, in charge of all the tickets? I remember you guys were kind of battling back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he probably got more requests than I did, so, you know, I let him handle all that. What was the, what was the total, probably, you think, between, uh, between you guys, how many local fans you bring out here? Oh, no, I just had two, my mom and my brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. She was pretty happy when you called Yeah, her. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, I was going to ask about Ugo's play that he made, too, the one where he mm -hmm. blitz and jumps up. And that yeah. It's pretty impressive uh, display there, athleticism. Oh, yeah. I loved it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's showing, showing what he can, he can do, you know, he and he does that a lot, so. What does it mean to you to get that recovery, you know, being from being from the area and kind of, you know, being home here? What, what was it like following that football? No, it was just. I mean, as soon as soon as I seen it, it was just get on the ball, you know, what I'm saying, and, and don't don't let no, nobody take it. So, and then once once I grabbed it, you know, it was just, just excitement because that was, that was a big play in the game. Yeah. How did you feel like you played overall tonight, and what are you taking away from it? 
I, I think think I play play good. You know, I made some some mistakes, but you know, I was just out there, you know, trying trying to uh, show everything thing I got. Yeah. What uh, what in a piece on Kevin Byard? Did he uh, did he do any coaching from the sidelines tonight? Uh, Did you have any conversations with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 was just coaching me up on like uh, some some small things that 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 I can do. Uh, you know, uh, really just yeah, it's really just just small things on what what to look at or you know what I'm saying what to what, what to expect in, in this this formation or that that formation. Well, you, I don't know if you were in the, at the the last drive, but the drive before that, I think you were in, or maybe you were in for both. Well, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I can't well, remember. What, you know, coming towards the end, I mean, it's a pretty close game. Mm -hmm. it. What what were some of the things either that you were kind of taking away from those moments or trying that coaches were telling you while you were, you know, the game was really close? Uh, really just, uh, you know, going back to what, what we teach, uh, you know, like in two minutes situations, you know, uh, how many timeouts they got, uh, you know, keep them in bounds, lay on them, you know what I'm saying, do all do all that that stuff. But it's really, really just we're just going, going out there and playing, playing ball. No, I think that, you know, I had a good game, and I think that, you know, I'm trying to, when I came in here, the goal was to, you know, be as effective as I could. And I had a lot of things in college that I wanted to work on, and I thought tonight I put that in the field. What do you think um, is your strength on this team, and what do you, have you learned from being in training camp so far? Yeah, I think my strength is honestly to help, you know, flip the field. And I think that I need to use that to my advantage as well as, um, you know, get a 60-40 punt down, and uh, and that's where I'm going to put my focus right now. So, what has training camp been like for you? Like this whole experience, now it's done. Where's it been? Like? It's been awesome. I mean, competition is my favorite, honestly. Ever since I was in high school, and this experience has been fantastic, honestly. And um, you know, getting to learn from a vet, and uh, I couldn't ask for a better place to land. Do you think you put everything out there that you wanted to show? Absolutely, but I also think at the same time that. Um, I have more to work on. Like it's just not a finished product yet, and I feel like um, each game I've improved, and I think that that's what I'm gonna continue to do. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Man, I saw a couple of my cousins, my parents, my friends, and I saw a couple of friends of a friend there too. And, and, and so stepping into play, I was I mean, I, I felt very comfortable, you know, just uh, being a student of the game, man, and understanding that as years go on, you pick up one thing after another, after another year, you know, and um, they felt, coaches felt comfortable with me going out there, and I felt comfortable by myself, you know, and I, and I, and I, I hold myself to a high standard, you know, always be ready, even when they don't think you're ready. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Question for you. Anybody, like, uh, fired or hooker who have been here a little bit to kind of get you acclimated? Uh, I've been talking to all the guys. I've been talking to Bayer throughout the whole offseason, all that stuff. So, you know, uh, we all just, you know, we all talk when it's necessary. Man, it's, it's different, man. I just can't believe it. Like, I actually have my family showing up to the games, you know, because it's down the street for them now. So instead of, uh, instead of flying across the country, man, they just drive 20 minutes and they're there, man. Familiar? Did it feel familiar, or was it like, man, this is something new, something you got to get used to? Uh, I'll say all of those, something new, something I got to get used to. Man, it was just different. I'm really representing the Tennessee Titans, man. I'm really home. I'm really, you know, putting my my best foot forward each and every game, each and every practice. Um, you know, I played well. I mean, I, I only played for a little while, so we're gonna watch the film. We're gonna see how I did, and I'm gonna see what I can improve on. What what are things that I can do to get better during practice during next week? I'm sorry, you probably answered this, but we just walked in. <laughs> J. Rob, you know, basically said that you won the job on TV tonight. How gratifying is that, given all the effort you put in? Um, you know, I mean, it's the NFL. I mean, it's great that he said that, but in the NFL, you compete every single day for your job. So it's not something that you just think you already have solidified. I'm going to compete every single day during practice. I'm going to compete this week, next week when we have the Giants, and two weeks when we have the Giants, and things like that. It's not something that. I take lightly, so I'm gonna keep competing and keep doing my job. Does it take any of the pressure off, though, that you can just get in there with Nate or whatever and kind of know that chances are you guys are the guys and you can work off of each other one on one like that? I mean, we work with everyone. I mean, that's as an offensive line unit, you can't just work with one guy. You gotta rotate with a bunch of people because you never know what's gonna happen. God forbid. I mean, you can see what happened last year. I mean, we had a lot of guys that came in during the season, like while I wasn't here, but the Titans came in and they brought a lot of guys, and that's a testament to what the Titans do, and that's a testament to how they coach, how they develop, how they bring in guys that fit the culture. But I tell you, you're not exactly resting on your laurels off of this. No, I mean, it's, I got to compete. I mean, I'm going to go watch the film. I'm going to work out tomorrow. 
Um, and then we got practice the next day after that. And then it's still, even though we're done with preseason, we still got one more week at camp. And then we got the week with the Giants. So we got to prepare for that. Thanks, Nick.